Hey, this is Shane and Zach. We're here today at the Fossil Beds out in North Idaho. We want to thank everyone for tuning in and encourage you to stop by RadicalRocks.com and joining up with all our social media and everything. And a little bit later, we're going to dig up some fossils as well, fossil leaves. And if we're super, super lucky, maybe a fossilized fish. All right, so we're over here at the Fossil Beds. Um, you can see this... Uh, kind of a slate material, um, kind of a dried clay, and you can see the vein right here. This is what we're going to be digging in, breaking these apart and looking for fossilized leaves and maybe even fish fossils. So we'll see how that goes, right? All right, boss. Let's hit it. I think I see a leaf right here, actually. I see one, too. I got one in my hand. Actually, there's a part of one right here, here's one and here. here's one here, too. They're just laying around on the ground, yeah. so. We'll find some more and then we'll show you those. All right, Willow found a pretty decent leaf right here. We're gonna crack this one open. That's a beautiful sound. <laughs> Big nothing. <laughs> All right, let's try again. Let's see, maybe something in this layer right here. Get anything in that layer? It looks like a couple of leaves, maybe. Not seeing anything in there. That looks like a fish. I don't think there's a fish in there. Let's try this one. Wow. Oh, that one's harder. Yeah, it's a mud. Can it's like I a mud. Hmm. Here too. Look at this. Yeah. Well, so we got a little leaf there. You see that? Is that showing up on the camera? Uh, yeah. Hold on. Let me get closer one. Yeah. Looks like it is. Yeah. And here's one here. But man, they mess up real easy if you're not yeah. careful. There's one there, but it's not the best. So this one, like the top part, didn't get exposed. So to find a whole leaf, that's the challenge, right? Yeah. I think. Can you that top part more. Uh, probably, well, when but... you do, it kind of breaks it, right? So you can't chip this part down a little bit. Like lower. that's a leaf right there. Oh, this? Well, yeah. you can try, but again, it it can break it, you know. So it's like it's luck of the draw. See, it broke it. Yeah, that's what you don't want. That's what's so hard to do is to find a good one and actually get it out. This is really old clay right here, so that's why it's tricky. To get even a perfect one, let alone trying to get it out, because it's really sensitive. It's exposed to the oxygen and stuff. It'll break apart easier. So there's one there. Yeah. Was, but it's a half a leaf. Yeah. You know? half a leaf. So that's the challenge: is trying to get a whole leaf. And then you have to wrap them up right away, or yeah, they'll, that's they'll fall the apart too. It's like that's a big one, and it's not even a whole one. But it's a good specimen. Well, we put it aside. I mean, I see parts of them down here. Yeah, but we're looking for right. some like nice good. specimens, right? And that's... probably a fish one, too. If that's a rare one to find, they say. Hey. Will's got a part, of, partial one, almost a whole one there. Cracked. Yep. So again, it, it's kind of hit and miss. Look at how soft it is. Look at that. That only takes a few whacks compared to... Place, or place and then when it dries, it's kind of like a, like a slate, like a rock. Uh-huh. Hmm. Let's try another piece here. Let's see. That one I didn't do so good with. Try this one. Yeah. That one is something here. Then we'll luck out. Hmm. Let's try this stuff up above. Maybe it's a little better.
Well, we got uh, a leaf right there. Yeah. That's pretty good. All right, so we found this one. This one is looking like the kind right there. There's a full leaf on that. It's kind of a red. It'll be turning brown really quickly. And I'm just gonna put it right back together and wrap it up like that. I think that's a pretty good specimen right there. Found two leaves. You got two leaves? Let's see, hold it down a little lower. Yeah, that looks really good, Landon. Two leaves on one rock, cool. That'd be nice on, we'll put some shellac on that and put it on a bookshelf. Found this little sparkly thing here, man. I don't know what that is. I guess it's pyrite. Yeah, I think it's pyrite. It's still kind of cool. Hey, we just split this one open and it's got all kinds of leaves in it. If I can even see what I'm looking at here. Yeah, there's a lot of leaves in this one. Wow, pretty cool. Covered in leaves. You can see one right there and one there. Yeah, we'll see what we can pick out of this. All right, we were digging in this other mineral here this conglomerate it's got rocks and it's got quartz in it and um, we can see that there's a piece of wood right there a little stored little piece of wood there's twigs and wood all through this real hard layer here that's kind of below the wet layer we were digging in over there um, above is a sandy layer Hi. over that way and uh, there's nothing in that but as we go down, we're still finding stuff, so pretty cool. You got anything, Landon? Um, I'm shipping through. Um, You're sifting through? Shipping through this. Okay. I found up like a... He's making more conglomerates. So we got one of our little leaf fossils here. We're gonna try some polyurethane. The guy said varnish, but we're gonna try this and see what happens. See what happens. So we'll let it dry, and then we'll come back and check it. Here's one of the little leaves that we found. We're gonna try and coat that with a little polyurethane and see how it works. That a little bit. Then we'll come back and let it dry and see what it All looks right, like. Alright, so we've let these dry. Um, you can see this one, it has a little twig in it, petrified twig. This one right here, polyurethane. And let it dry and it looks like it's going to preserve it pretty good. I mean it looks wet, but it's dry and um, You can see the leaf real good And it's preserved. I think uh, I think that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna coat all these with that um, Just to show you some of the stuff we found there's uh, some bark there um, this one has a casting, um, actually the other side, that's the other side of this one, right there, there's one side, and you see the petrified stick there, same thing here, this one, Let's see if I can get better lighting here for you, that almost looks like a leaf, um, you can see I wasn't sure what this was. Um, try to get you some better light here. Wasn't sure what that one is. It could be a flower. Hard to say. But definitely on this one, you can see the leaf pattern right there. All up in there. And then over on this one, got a leaf here, fragment of a leaf there. 
Here's another kind of cool leaf I found. This one's drier. You've got fossilized leaf right there. Um, this one's kind of cool because it's got two on it. I really wanted to try hard to find a full leaf. This almost looks like a fish. See that? Does that look like a fish? I don't know. I don't see the bottom fin, but yeah, it almost looks like a fish. I don't think it is though. I think it's a leaf. Um, here's some more imprints of leaves. You see that? You can get that coated and protected. Um, here's some more that we found. There's a leaf there. Several leaves. Here's a little, looks like a broad leaf right there. Yeah, I might be able to get some of that off right there. And this one, here's, this is about the most best full leaf. There's one right, right there. You can see a, almost a full leaf right there. Then here, there's another leaf right there. And then some other little fragment there. Some of these have them on both sides, not this one though. No, nothing on that side. But this was pretty cool, this one. This one here, get over here in the light a little better. Oh, no, it's not that great. Just a couple little leaves. So, I guess the best one I have is probably that one. And then I've got bigger ones here. Probably that one. That's probably the best one. So I could try to cut this back and make it smaller. Um, I might do that couple leaves in that one so i'll leave you with that thank you remember rock hounds don't die they petrify all right one last look at these leaves that we got here and hunks of bark um oops the light huh possible fish right there you can see those are the ones that are already dried those two right there that one and that one, that one looks like a little twig. This one's really nice. So you can see over here, I've coated everything really good. You can see that leaf right there. And then here, another leaf right there. And then here you've got half a leaf, a round leaf, a fragment of a leaf. There's a leaf, some leaf parts there. Here's a nice leaf peeking out here. And when I got over here, I noticed a few that I, I don't know that I've showed you, but there's one right there. Get over here, another angle, there we go. And then there is a really nice one right here. Kind of hard to make out in the camera though, for some. Yeah, it's just not showing up good in the camera. The reflection's kind of killing it, but there's one there. So, anyway, that they've all been coated. They're wet right now. They're drying. But when they're done, they'll look really good like this one here. And uh, we'll have our fossils preserved. We can put them on a shelf and share them for years to come. Thanks for stopping by. Go check out RadicalRocks.com. And remember, rock hounds don't die, they petrify.